Welcome. Welcome. I did a middle part. Welcome. Oh, good job with your middle part. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you today, Gretchen? How swipes yeah, you... a true crime? I'm um two cocktails deep. Oh, you, you kept you kept me waiting. I did, you guys. I had a little a little hiccup, a little hiccup, mm. and I am drinking them out of my uh, listener gift. Thank you, Susie and uh, X Tina. Oh, clink, I, clink. I, I use it all the time, and if you check out YouTube, then you can see I I enjoy the I enjoy the glass. Oh, you know what? I was supposed to bring um my sugar glider today. Damn it! I could probably go get him. We we're all okay. <laughs> Nobody wants to see him or hear. Most people just hear us. Okay. Next okay. time. Next week. Next time. Oh next no! Time. Two weeks away. Two weeks. Okay. I'm gonna be on a little trip next time we record. So you'll okay. see me. So you'll see. I'm me sure they'll far. be waiting with bated breath. They'll be like, "Damn it! What's going on with Tab's tennis game? And how is where I want to see that sugar rat?" <laughs> you do. It's very cute. Okay, listen, I'll tell you what they do want to hear about because I just saw it in the group. I just posted that we were just about to record. Yes. Everybody wants to know about the Snoop wine. Oh, gosh, you guys, I heard about the Snoop wine. Mm, oh my I God. heard about it when she was drinking it. And then <laughs> I heard about it the next day. You guys. Okay, so the Snoop wine. First of all, I think it's an excellent, it's excellent for parenting because kids are fascinated by the talking label and your children will learn how to say, raise your old glass. And I love that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I recommend okay. now. Uh-huh. So we, ha I had a little zoom happy hour with some of my friends. I have more than one. More than just Contrary me. Contrary to popular bleat, more than just you. Wasn't I supposed to be on that Zoom, friend? Tab was supposed I to know. be on it, but I don't know. She, she, it's hard with the time difference, yeah, you know. Is. Anyhow, Tab missed out, so I was like, you know what time it is for me to Zoom with the ladies? Snoop time. Snoop time. Yeah, so I'm like drop it like it's hot, wine style in my mouth. So I drank it. I drank three glasses. So almost a whole bottle. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't judge. <laughs> I'm and... not judging, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, I there's a reason why I steer clear. It was delicious. I was like, damn, I th this is good. Yes, but, but you do have a problem with I red wine. I do wines. have a problem with red wine. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? She had a problem. Snoop did me dirty. He did me so dirty. I felt like, but for <laughs> like, <laughs> not just the morning, like all day. Oh my God. Like all day. And like, even it, I started to get a migraine and like, when I get a migraine, it takes like a couple days to like shake it sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. I, it was, I, I really regretted my one night stand with Snoop because <laughs> it was, Yeah. He did yeah. journey. So the next day, what is so but, funny is that, so I, it would, that was on a Thursday. And so on Friday, I was, that's the day I usually do something fun with my kids. We have like a, yeah, like a short zoo. day at school. Yeah. yeah or the zoo or like something. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, oh God, I am like still oh, feeling horrible. And Tab called me called. on the phone and said, oh, the new SpongeBob movie is out. And I was like, hey, you guys want to like not do anything cool and like, go, go home and watch the new, yeah. the new SpongeBob movie. And they were like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, Lord have mercy. Thank you. That was the answer to my prayers because mommy needed to just like siesta. So we did that and my kids like get me out of bed and they're like mom the bottle guy is in the movie snoop is in the movie no way yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh my god i didn't even know oh, i didn't I, my kids watched I'm it like, but i did not watch it i'm like oh my no gosh way. i cannot that... i cannot shake him <laughs> all day i'll tell you another good kids movie that just came out it's we've watched it like 50 times already it's called 
Raya and the Last Dragon, and it's well. Really I hope you good. watch it fifty times because that movie costs a pretty penny. It's thirty dollars. It's thirty. And you gotta bucks. have a Disney Plus app. You have to have Disney Plus Plus Plus. You gotta pay the thirty bucks to watch it. It's cheaper than taking them to the movies. I'll yeah. tell you that. And you know, like you know, pop some popcorn and you're good. Yeah, but you know, but I feel like I don't get I don't get like mom points out of stuff like that. Like my kids don't know the difference between that and me, you know, putting on whatever. I want the points. I'm so mad <laughs> you are that so they're like, like that. grown up and they don't remember all those trips to Disneyland and such. Oh, you know, I know, I know. Yeah. Uh, when they get older and they say like we didn't do anything, I'm gonna be like, you even need to look at my Facebook timeline because we did a <laughs> lot. Okay. You don't post that much on Facebook. I don't either. I think I posted more when we did stuff besides go to the beach. How many pictures of me at the beach with my kids do people want to yeah. see? True. Truth. 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 Well, clink, clink right. to not having clink, clink. in that glass. No, this is tequila. Oh, she's on a or ra- ranch, ranch water, water, as you say. Ranch water. Yeah. Yeah, that is mm-hmm. my specialty. I love it. Mm-hmm. Love it. Well, let's yeah. get to what you got getting to. Crime time? Okay, yeah. let's do it. Okay. Tabitha. Oh, I like I how you said I know your middle name. name. What is your middle name? Is it Ann? Do- yeah, it's Ann. Oh, okay. Yeah, then I didn't know it. Tabitha Ann. Kane. Ann. And you are Gretchen. It starts with a... K Kara. That's right. That's yes. right. Maybe we should just give the people our maiden names and social security numbers while we're at it. I was just thinking that, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking that. <laughs> uh, maybe TMI, but whatever. whatever. They're all we cool, trust right? You. Okay. Yeah. No fraud. Okay. Anywho. Okay. Rachel Wade, today's story is brought to us by a listener who wishes not to be named. And they have an interesting connection to someone that has an interesting connection to Miss Rachel Wade, who I'm about to tell you about. Okay. At the end, I will fill you in on what's up with that piece of business. Okay. But you're going to have to wait for it. Just keep your ears open. Okay. We are going back to Florida. Okay. We love Florida. Okay. We love Florida. We, we got out. We, we got to get out there, you know? Okay. Pinellas you know, Park. Hold yes. on. Let me tell you something real quick. Yeah. Everybody from Texas goes to Florida for vacation. It is like the place. Yeah, I knew that. Go. I tried to tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. So I know we'll be in Pensacola to see our friends real soon. Oh my God, please. And you're coming please. with me. Yeah, I am. Of course. Okay. So we're going to, I'm taking you on a trip to Pinellas Park. 2008, 2009. Okay. Around 40,000. Okay. So not a very big town. No. Looks like a nice Florida nice town. Small. Yeah. Okay. Rachel grew up in a loving two-parent household. Her mother is a special ed teacher. So, you know, she like has the patience of a saint. Oh my God. I always am like, you guys are, I had I, my I, parent teacher conference today and yeah. the teacher was just so like, I just love your son and he's so great. And I, I mean, it makes my heart melt, but I also, you know, know that it's not easy. So yeah, they, oh, we talk about it all the place time in heaven for sure. Neither one of us could do it no for way. sure. No. And shout out to all the teachers out there right now who have kids at home trying to do school and and they're trying to teach school. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully they're back at school or if not soon, I'm soon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Rachel Mm -hmm. got the good parents, real cute girl, blonde, tan, you know, Florida dream, got the whole world in front of her. But like a lot of young ladies, she went through a rebellious stage around age 15. Okay. But Rachel's rebellious phase was extra. She did more than just miss curfew tab. Her sophomore year in high school, she ran away from home 14 times. Whoa. 
Yeah. Okay, that's Her parents a lot. Were forced. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. She would like, I read she would sleep in like lounge chairs at hotel. I mean, I guess it's kind of easy to run away in Florida. Like there's some beaches and hotels. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, okay. her parents were forced to ask for help finding her from the police. So yeah. they, they were worried. It was a pro it was a serious situation. It seemed like Rachel was out of control. She really began to spiral when she was found in a car with a 19 year old and he was arrested and charged with a felony sex crime. Her arguments at home with her parents became so volatile that the police were called to the house several times. When Rachel was almost 17, she told her parents that she was moving in with her boyfriend. And at that point, they just let her. I am sure that they felt like more independence, you know, might make her grow up. But Rachel's temper still got the best of her after she left her parents' house. That boyfriend was named Nick, and he says that things were real bad when Rachel lived with him. When him and Rachel argued, things escalated quickly. Nick says Rachel not only hit him, but oh. she also held a knife to his throat at one point. Yikes. Rachel is a little cray. And where did that come she from? She probably needs to be on med. I don't. Well, I think that she probably needed attention. She, I mean, she yeah. probably has like a, you know, a chemical imbalance or something clearly. Okay. Okay. So that relationship lasted until Rachel, it lasted about three years, but until Rachel learned that Nick had been cheating on her. Hmm. But when that relationship ended, it actually seemed like Rachel was getting it together. She moved out, moved into her own apartment. She got her GED and she started working at Applebee's. Well, that sounds like she's on the right path. On the right path, right? Mm -hmm. That's about the path I was on at that age. Okay. So, and look at me now. So, so successful. <laughs> know, right? Yeah. Oh, by the way, so, you guys, I just found out Gretchen told me this week that her um, ex-boyfriend oh. works at the, uh, what do you call that? The home improvement store okay. in my town. Yes. And I drove. Oh my God. Okay. So I almost went in today, by the way. So <sighs> I had to go to Party City, which was next to it or close in close proximity. And um, if I had enough time, I was going to go in. And so I was videoing for you the place. And then I said his name. And so my daughter was like, we got to go find. Oh, sorry. Just told you his name. I got to delete that. <laughs> My daughter said, no, we got to go find care. what so-and-so. Him, yeah. I and I was like, I was like, oh yeah. So we're on, we're on, Kyla and I are going to go find. On a him. mission. So, okay. Yes. Well, that's pretty funny that you bring that up because I was not planning on mentioning that part, but I am going to tell a little bit of that story at the end of this. Oh, you are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> it all ties in. Yeah. Okay. So. Rachel working at Applebee's. Okay. Okay. So same, things seem like they are turning around for Rachel. She had made amends at this point with her parents. Good. Right. Good. And was being responsible about supporting herself. Okay. Then one night at a party, she reunited with an old flame named Josh. Josh Camacho and Rachel... Rachel was like a moth to a flame for Mr. Josh. Okay. Josh came with some baggage though. He had for one baby mama drama. Hmm. Josh cheated on that baby mama. So their co-parenting style was not copacetic. Mm -hmm. Right. So she could get a little bitter at whoever he was dating, you know, yeah, dating know. and he kind of fueled that fire. Right. Now, Rachel was not deterred. She loved the way Josh wore those tank tops. Some people call them wife beaters. Oh. I'm not sure if that's acceptable to say anymore. It probably is 100% not acceptable to say, but acceptable that to is say anymore. What, but that I, is what I, 
That's how I know Formerly known as. Yeah. Formerly known as. Okay. And right. he had a pit bull and he lived with his mom. What okay. a catch. And okay. did he wear Converse? Probably. And his socks really high? I know yeah. this. <laughs> I, we, we know those types. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. By the way, I love all dogs, even pit bulls. I just cannot stand when they don't get love and attention they deserve and call me judgmental, but I don't picture Josh taking his pooch on long walks and signing up for obedience school at Petco. Got it. My brother has a pit bull and it looks so scary. And it is like the loveliest dog. Of course. I just think you have to nurture yeah absolutely right Right. Right. okay okay got it i don't like it when young irresponsible people use those dogs as a status symbol and then they don't give them the love they deserve okay so believe it or not rachel wasn't the only pretty girl in pinellas park to fall for josh's charms josh started seeing a young lady named sarah ruderman at the same time as he was involved with rachel Mm. It's spark her fire. Spark her fire. Did it spark her fire? You well, know, Rachel had was a little oh, spitfire. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me tell you, Sarah was a little younger than Rachel and a really good student in school. She was not a wild child like Rachel. In fact, Josh was her first boyfriend. Sarah's parents were not fans of his, but they trusted Sarah's judgment and probably thought. Well, she's almost 18. How long is this going to last anyways? Yeah. Like, you know, if she's a good student. She's probably going off to college. I kind of think that. Yeah. I mean, and I sort of get that. You think like, oh, my kid is dating a loser, but you're like, the more I push it, it might push them closer mm-hmm. together. So maybe I ought to just let this run its course. Yeah. So when it all started, Josh had it pretty good he was hanging out with good girl sarah until she had to be home by her 11 o'clock curfew and then he would go spend the night at rachel's place Mm, yeah i know that i know those i know those types too (laughs) yeah (laughs) so this was good for him for a minute but when rachel discovered she was not josh's only boo on the myspace things got messy Mm -hmm. she commented on a photo of josh with sarah that he deserved better and sarah commented back he found better okay oh snap neither girl wanted to give up josh And then Rachel got Sarah's number off of Josh's phone. And so the texting Mm. wars and voicemails between the girls began. Now, Sarah's position in the beginning was she thought that Rachel was just a jealous Mm ex-girlfriend. Okay, I could see that. Okay, she didn't really know, you know, that that he was still actually two timing. Yeah, okay. But then one day she had had enough of Rachel's text and then that told her, stay away from Josh. You know, she called Rachel and said, listen, Rachel, he's my boyfriend. You need to move on. And then Rachel told her, you know, no, 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 no. I, you know, I was just with him yesterday and the day before. Lottie, Lottie. So Mm -hmm. she was heartbroken to hear Rachel tell her she's been hooking up with him the whole time. They were supposedly together. You know, imagine like your first love. I can't imagine actually. (laughs) Yeah. Speaking of that Josh again. (laughs) (laughs) I was not even going to tell that part, but whatever. Okay. But still, okay. So Sarah did not break up with him. Okay. Mm Mm-hmm. And as if his infidelity wasn't enough, his relationship with Sarah had grown volatile. This is where it gets real not funny. Okay. Police interviewed Sarah six times about public confrontations she had with Josh. And I read, also read that Sarah had a confrontation with Josh's baby mama, Aaron, too, and Josh admitted to punching Sarah in the face. Oh, God. 
So, yeah, so it's, now Sarah is like, now Sarah's kind of being like Rachel. Rachel's nuts. Sarah's nuts. Okay. Okay. So it's bad. And instead of pressing charges, like at this point, Sarah's parents begged her to do and ditch his ass. She decided to go see Rachel face to face mm. for herself. Mm-hmm. She knew Rachel worked at the Applebee's. So she started going to Applebee's. So there was a karaoke night there. Oh, it's fun. Yeah. Fun, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And Sarah and her and friends. She br- oh, yeah. She, I was going to ask, did she bring her friends? Like, it's not just yeah, her showing her up friends. without, like, her friends. Okay. Yeah. So Sarah and her friends would get up and sing songs they thought might just get under Rachel's skin. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I don't know. I guess they like would also like add lyrics. You know, they would just get up there and yeah. say like stupid. I'm trying to think in like 2008, 2009. Bad girl. Oh yeah, yeah. You know that like one. That, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, Sarah next leveled it too. She also bumped Rachel repeatedly so that Rachel would drop whatever she was carrying while she was working. Oh my god. I would hate that's that. Pretty, that's balls, right? I mean, that takes some balls. It for sure girls does, are but it's so, mean girl. So mean girls. Girls are so nuts at that age. At every age. At but every I age. Mean, but I uh, think about the drama that. Oh, my God. I mean, at this age that I've had, like. I don't even, I don't even need drama, want drama. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Girls are crazy. Yeah. There are also accusations that Sarah and her friends would follow Rachel home from work, try to run her off the road. There were slash tires. And remember, Sarah and her friends were still in high school. Yeah. And, and how old is Rachel at this time? Is she like the same age? Rachel as Ross, like was 18. 18. Oh, 18. No, she was 18. Okay. Sarah was 10 months younger than her. Okay. So not that like she's, she's a senior. They're basically the same age. Yeah. 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 Okay. It sounds like Sarah was responsible for more in-person harassment. But Rachel was responding to it by sending her violent threats in return. She left her many voicemails. But the one that is ominous is the one where she said, and I quote, seriously, I told you to watch your fucking back and not to chill with him. Now your ass is mine. And I'm guaranteeing you I'm going to fucking murder you. I'm letting you know that now. Yikes. Okay. Yeah. So and you, and being Sarah, probably like it's a empty threat. Yeah. That, know, I mean, I'm sure that's what that's what I would have thought. Yeah. Like you're gonna show at up that, at my work at, at that and age. Bump me and yeah. Whatever, you know. I think we can agree that clearly at this point, both girls are contributing to this. To the drama to all yeah. this nonsense okay yeah. like it's go it's going both ways so on april 15th 2009 sarah spent the day crying about seeing a myspace post of rachel and josh that rachel posted captioned loving my boo Okay, I just don't understand what Josh has got. I mean, is he like Oh, let no. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. Like is he buying them? He's like a flowers? small guy. Is yeah, he... he's good looking. No, I think he was, you know. Like move on. There's plenty of fish in the oh, sea. Oh, there's plenty. Especially at that oh, age. Yeah. I mean oh, There's a lot of yeah, guys. Okay. But I get it. Like you got to kiss a lot of toads. Yeah, trust but trust me. Okay. Uh, I know. Okay. I trust you. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> to have lived through it. Okay. Uh... So she texted Josh about it 
that day, the whole love and my boo thing. Okay. Around 1 PM, she, Sarah texted Josh, all we do is fight about her or something that has to do with her. And it sucks. I hate fighting with you. I love you so much, but this shit hurts. Oh my God. Like move on, have some oh self-esteem my God. And, and self-respect. Want, like, I know you yeah. just want to shake her. Yeah. Okay. So you almost want to be like, get your ass to college where you're going to meet somebody that has some like drive right? like you do because you said she's like a, a good student. Her good grade student. started slipping when she hooked up with this douche. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's so many, so many people. Okay. I just okay. know where this well, is going. Of course. Yeah, you do. Okay. So he didn't respond. He Go didn't respond. To back boo he didn't he, respond he's weak also initially he's playing he's playing her okay so she texted him back again and said you say you love me but you don't text me back no response mm-hmm. until 8 p.m and then he just said bring the movies okay that's it. That's all. That's, it. <laughs> That's okay. what he said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that night, Rachel had want she had the night off at Applebee's and she had wanted to hang out with Josh, but he had told her that he had to babysit for his sister at her house. Okay. Well, Rachel still held out hope that they could hang out because they'd been together the night before. So things were, you know, she thought things were good with them, but mm-hmm. We know that's not happening because he told Sarah to bring the movies. And of course, Sarah's 100% Sarah hopped to it. The, yeah, bringing the movies. Sarah, Sarah's bringing the movies. That's all you got to say, right? I mean, uh, okay. So on Sarah's way over to see Josh, she did a drive by uh. past Rachel's place. And Rachel happened to be outside walking her dog. Sarah yelled out the window, stay away from my man. Oh my God, Sarah. I know. So Rachel was shook by this. And when she went back inside her apartment, she grabbed a steak knife and put it in her purse. She then called her friend Javier and asked if she could come over because she was scared and didn't want to be alone. He said yes, and she got there around 11 p.m., but on her way, she decided to do a drive-by to Josh's sister's house, where Josh had said he was babysitting. And he wasn't there. No. Oh. He was there and also was Sarah's car in the driveway. Oh. So he was babysitting with Sarah. Yeah. Okay. So Rachel didn't quit driving by. She drove by a couple times and she texted Josh. Now I see why you're not talking to me. You got her. And Josh responded. I mean, you got to imagine he's got Sarah sitting there next to him. He said, that's right. I don't like you no more. (laughs) Actually, Sarah responded. Basically. Okay. So. Josh had seen her driving by and messaged her, why are you on the street? Go home. And she replied, no, I'll wait for her to go home. Sarah, of course, did not want to give Rachel the satisfaction of leaving, but like she was already pushing curfew. And so after midnight, she left. And on her way home, she gave Josh's sister and her friend a ride to McDonald's. When the three girls were in the car, Rachel called Sarah. So Sarah put it on speakerphone and Rachel said, I am going to kill you. So now all these girls are amped up. They're all, you can imagine these young girls, like all in the car, like she's going to kill you. You know, I can picture that. Okay. So then. Sarah was waved down by a friend of hers who said, you looking for Rachel? 
she is outside Javier's house right now. So Sarah booked it to Javier's. Oh my God. And Rachel, why? Rachel was outside talking to two guys in Javier's driveway. Sarah got out of the car and so did the other girls. And seeing this, Rachel pulled the knife out of her purse. And it happened so fast, it's not clear who threw the first punch, but it was clear that Rachel had stabbed Sarah twice in the chest with the steak knife. Sarah was in shock after being stabbed and told her friends, we've got to go. And she tried to got, call Josh, but she was just able to utter the words, it hurts, before she collapsed in the street. Oh, God. Javier took off his shirt and tried to stop the bleeding, and the girls called 911, but Sarah died at the hospital that night with her parents. And Josh in the waiting room. Oh, Sarah's my God. Yeah. Dude, this girl like, is such stupid. It's so stupid. stupid. It's so stupid. So Sarah's dad told Josh, she's dead because of you. Well, it's true. Yeah, it is true. So Rachel was sitting outside on a bench and everyone had told the police, you know, she's, she stabbed Sarah. So there was no question about that. And so she, she willingly went with them. She didn't try to run or anything. So she went with them for questioning. She told the police that Sarah and her two friends had rushed her and hit her a few times before she pulled out the knife and she only wanted to scare them. She said that she didn't see where she stabbed Sarah and she doesn't remember stabbing her at all. She also told police that she threw the knife on the roof and that is where police found it. The police told her during this interview that Sarah was dead from the wounds she caused. And Rachel broke down hysterically in tears. They charged her with second degree murder. I mean, it's kind of complicated, right? I mean, Sarah went looking for a fight. Clearly. Mm -hmm. But a fist, a fist fight. Like when Rachel brought out that knife, she took it, she took it to the next level. Yes. A hundred percent. That was. You also know that even with your fist fight, a fist can be considered. Oh, it's all stupid. A deadly weapon. But I mean that. But like, why did she grab the knife in the first place? And why did she say she was going to kill her? It's not like she didn't have that in her mind that she would actually hurt her enough to like killer sure i think she was really angry i think i don't think she really wanted to murder sarah even though that is like what she had said in the voicemail and stuff the problem is i don't think she was thinking at all i think she saw red and lost control i think this is a young girl that has like a chemical imbalance and i just think it's like a cautionary tale of the repercussions of these girls bullying each other yeah I mean, mean, really, it should be, they should have been, you know, I love it when you hear these stories where the girls like find out that each of them are seeing the same guy and then they turn on the guy and, and do something fine where they like catch him in the thing. I like that. Like, that's like girl power. You know, it's like this guy, it's just a guy. He's, he's one of like many, he's not, you know, throwing diamonds at you. Like, what is is it? just a guy. And by no stretch of the imagination, Sarah did not deserve to die. It is so tragic. But you cannot. Young. Yes. But you cannot push people. I know. I mean, I I shouldn't say like, I mean, it's just if you antagonize people, that it comes with a risk. And I'm not saying at all all that that justifies Sarah dying like that is the last thing I'm saying at all. I'm just saying, you know, proceed with caution. (sighs) Right. Listen, I am constantly telling like my husband or anybody, like it doesn't matter if 
somebody cuts you off or, you know, whatever, like just, it's a small problem, right? It's a small problem in like the world of life and people get so triggered quickly. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You don't always need justice against like a live wire. I mean, because you never know when they are going to explode. No. And I mean, it, her buttons were put, Rachel's buttons were pushed and pushed and pushed clearly. I mean, she was showing up at her work, singing the karaoke songs. It doesn't mean you kill somebody. I mean, I just had this lesson with my son, you know, kicking a teacher. It's the same thing. It's like his buttons were pushed so much that he reacted poorly. But the lesson is, is that you just, you know, right from wrong. She yeah. knows not to bring a knife. That bringing yeah. a knife is what set her up. That was her downfall. Yeah. Yeah. That is the biggest Second degree murder. Life. Second degree murder. I mean, what did she get? Okay. Well, I'll get to it. Okay. So second degree yeah. murder and leading up to the trial, friends and family didn't think that Rachel really understood the magnitude of the situation. She probably didn't. Mm, she was not released on bail before the trial. And so from jail, she wrote friends that she was going to marry Javier now. Oh, when this was all over. Mm, and-, and that it was self-defense and the jury would see it that way. But they didn't. They played the voicemails Oof. that Rachel had left Sarah and witnesses testified, including Josh and you know, even though not all of, I mean, you can imagine how fast it happened. And even though not everybody's had, had the same recollection of that night, there was just no denying that Rachel stabbed Sarah would have thought that when you see how super young Rachel looked, I mean, she looked like a baby and the jury heard about, you know, Sarah's trips to Applebee's to harass her. Yeah. I, I would have thought they would have needed to deliberate a while, but they didn't. It only took them two hours to decide Rachel was guilty of second degree murder. Second degree. That's, that's, it's not the minimum, yeah, she, but it's like, it's pretty minimal. Like you're yeah, Sarah's family was not happy about it. She was sentenced sure to 27 years in that's prison. That's a lot of years for second degree. I will tell you, I think that, yeah, I'm sure Sarah's parents wanted first degree because she had the knife and she had called her and threatened her. So right. it seems like she could have got first degree murder. So she's lucky. And yeah. she's young, 20, whatever. It's how, how many years does she have to serve? Probably not even 20. So she, appe- uh, she appealed in 2012 and she lost. Okay. She, if she serves all 27 years, she will be 43 when she's released. That dude, that's your age. Yeah. Still got a whole life to live. Life is just beginning. Yeah. I mean, come on. She might hear this too. Let me tell you why. She's getting out (laughs) early. I'll tell you why. You got COVID? Second. Okay. What? (laughs) Okay. Well, anyways. Okay. So I think that she gets it now. The severity of, you know, putting that knife in her purse. That was, that was bad. How about stay inside and bring bear mace? That's what I carry. Yeah. Good. Bear mace. Don't fuck with me. Okay. (laughs) Got it. Okay. She acknowledges now, I think she's grown up a little, that her biggest regret is that she didn't sit down with Sarah and ever just talk to her. Um, The part of the case that really blows, I mean, obviously the worst part is Sarah lost her life, right? And her her family lost their child. But the other worst part is that this douchebag, Josh, just walks away. I know. I knew he He, would. Like, what did he do? He didn't do anything. He (sighs) didn't, I mean, he didn't do anything illegal. He, oh, just... he played those girls to the point of ugh, ugh, just dude, gross. how many people okay. do that? Lots of people do that. Just think. Okay. So I know he moved out of his mama's house. Oh, good. I mean, he was, okay. he was young, but he, he was went to go there. live with, he went to go live with another relative. Okay. Okay. I don't What's know if he, he doing now pip. 
I don't know if he took his pit bull with him. I doubt it. Did you find him? I found him, but he hadn't updated. I mean, it was probably maybe he has like a new Facebook profile, probably under like a different name or something because it hadn't been updated since like 2016. But, you know. I don't know. You guys don't like lots of guys don't like do Facebook that oh much. yeah he's probably on one of those cool kid things that I don't snoop around on like the Twitter, <laughs> Twitter. you know <laughs> I don't know if that's cool I mean I Is think it? the young people are not on the the Facebook or even the Instagram they're on like Snapchat and know. TikTok 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 you don't stop yeah people are too young to even know that reference right there <laughs> Okay. So, (laughs) oh, I was listening to Poison today. My favorite, uh, Mm -hmm. from Belle Bib DeVoe, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. And my tennis instructor, I was like, you don't know the song, do you? He's like, oh my God, no way. Dude, I was, he's 34. He's from Australia also. So, maybe, but I think they have all the music in the 80s and 90s, but. Yeah. He, what, was two, maybe, when it came out? He's like, oh, I, I, maybe I've heard it before. It was like, no, it's my favorite song of all time. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's good. Well, you know, I listened to the hits on the Sirius radio. Hits one. Yeah. yeah so, I know. so I try to keep current. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I turn it back to coffee house because I can only stand it for a little while. Yeah, Yeah, I know. Because I'm boring. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, Sarah's parents did not allow Josh to attend the funeral. I think we can all understand that. Mm -hmm. Rachel is currently serving her sentence at a correctional facility in Florida. Her release date is 2033. And like I said, she'll be 43 years old. So I looked up her latest mugshot. She still looks young, but she still is young. Yeah. I would say she would look a whole lot better with blonde hair and a tan. Like before she was got the mousy mousy, brown, mousy brown and pale. That's what the clink does. That's what it does to you. Yeah. Don't go to the clink. Don't go to the clink. Okay. So how this story was brought to my attention was through a roundabout way. Like I mentioned in the beginning, a person right. I know knows a person who started writing Rachel. This person thinks she's real innocent. But how could she be innocent? There's no innocence in that. I don't know, but he oh, found like that it's not hard. Yeah, I guess, you know, there's a bunch of different, it's like, so weird because there are so many cases out there, but there's a ton of episodes of like, you know, on the E channel and whatever about this case, because it involves two cute girls. Mm -hmm. And the way they make it sound is they say, well, like they paint Rachel really as like, the bad guy and Sarah as the good girl. I mean, they mentioned the Applebee's thing, but they don't really, you know, tell you the whole story. It would like that. It was going both ways. I mean, they make it seem like it was harmless. Sarah went in there and sang some songs, you know, and I get that. It's that whole, you know, dateline when the victim walked in a room, she lit up the room or whatever. I mean, I'm, sure Sarah was amazing I'm not trying to discredit that but I'm just trying to tell the truth I read a book about it and so I got more of the big picture that it was the truth is is it went both ways between these girls yeah okay so whatever I don't know I think that um this person just has chosen to only see certain details well, this person probably also likes her. Yeah, her- he found it's not hard to communicate with her. The facility that she's in allows her to have a tablet. Like an iPad? She- 
I don't know. Do I just think? know. I just know it's a tablet, wow. and that she can text on it, watch movies, wow, and to music. So maybe she can even listen to podcasts. So wops up, oh, Rachel. Okay. Wow. Okay. Holy shamolies, Batman. Mm-hmm. This person mm-hmm. also sent her a few hundred dollars. I don't think it is wrong to write a prisoner, but I also think it is an easy way to get taken advantage of <laughs> if you start sending them money. I don't think that it's, pro- it's not, I, I just, I'm going to just put it out there. I just don't advise. I don't advise. Also, I mean, in this case, I'm sure that Rachel had, like, she has parents who are, like, supportive of her. So I'm sure her parents are keeping enough money on her books to get whatever she wants from commissary. And, you know, apparently prisoners are getting stimulus checks. So, like, they're all good. Yeah, right? well, she's going to have a lot from a stimulus check soon. That's so. right. That's right. That should get a lot of granola bars and, you know, whatever. Oh, that right? sounds so good right now. I'm on, like... Uh, only eat till five o'clock and now it's 10 30 at night. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm already very hungry. Oh, okay. Is that a WAP? No, that is not a WAP oh, because okay. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my personal story. Okay. Tab. Wait, you said this that case... she might get out of prison earlier. No, I don't think she's going to get out of oh. prison earlier. Okay. 2033 is just around the corner. Let's hope not. Okay. It's not. It's not. Yeah. It puts me. Not. No. No, it's not. Okay. Well, this case got me thinking about when I was in high school and I had an ex, well, I had a boyfriend's ex-girlfriend start coming into my work all the time, just like Sarah did to Rachel. Okay. I was working at my parents' restaurant. Mm-hmm like all the time and every weekend and she started coming in all the time yeah that's real weird yeah it was weird I hadn't met her because my boyfriend told me that they were still friends like he took me over to her house and (laughs) it was it was really it was really chill it wasn't like uh I don't know I just didn't you know really question it I was like sure whatever she was she wasn't as she was cool fine. as you. She wasn't, she wasn't, no, but she just, no, I, I think she was probably cooler, but I think that she just, um, I'm saying she wasn't like a bitch to me. She wasn't super nice. Oh, like, yeah. oh, I want to hang out. But so I didn't think it was that weird that he like brought me over there. I thought like, oh, well, maybe they still are friends. I don't know. Dude, my ex-boyfriend, who was my boyfriend at the time, did that shit with me. But didn't tell me it was his ex girlfriend's house. So all oh, these bitches were like rude so to that's me. That's a problem. Yeah, oh, and I was like, what is, no, I'm like, what is the deal? Yeah, that's not yeah. cool at all. Full disclosure. Okay. So I didn't think anything of this girl in that situation, and then she started coming into the restaurant all the time, and I thought that was kind of weird because totally. I, I knew everyone that ate in there regularly. I mean, most of the people that ate at my parents' restaurant were like 90. It was like a little cafe. I mean, you definitely yeah. knew, you know. So I thought, you know, something was up with it. But she was cool to me when I saw her. And so I just never thought that much of it or her or anything. Okay. okay. And na- naturally, you know, that guy broke my heart. I broke up with him because I, I shouldn't say he broke my heart. I reserved that for somebody else, but I broke up with him because I found out he had another girlfriend. Oh God. Okay. Is this the guy? The, Much, uh, see what I'm saying? Much <laughs> like Sarah and Rachel. Okay. Is this the guy at the home can, improvement store? Yes. Okay. So oh I confronted God. him and said, I'm so going to go confront I, I, him. I, I heard you have another girlfriend. I'm going to say and, Big mistake. I said, you Big. Know, I said something like that. <laughs> like, it's her or me. And he said her. And I said, okay, whatever. Okay. Years later, I'm going out with some other guy. That's the guy that broke my heart, actually. And we were out and it was like not a big deal. I was introduced to some random girl, you know, who's like friends. And she told me, oh, yeah. 
you probably hate me because I'm friends with Marty. And I was like, I haven't even thought of that chick in years. And she was like, oh yeah, well, she hates you. Oh my and God. She, know- she knows you're seeing this guy and she hates it. What the, and I, what is the deal dude, with her? I know. So I was like, I couldn't believe that she hated me like this whole time. That is so peanuts, butter and jelly. What a bizatch. Okay. So then gets better. So then <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I got married to Fred, my beloved por vida. Okay. Okay. And I'm living in Ojai. Okay. And a small town, by the way. And that's where she's from. And I ran into her at the hardware store. Okay. And I thought about saying, I, I mean, I saw her and was like, shoots, I really have not seen her like, like since. Like 20 I, years. It, yeah. I'd been forever. 15. I whatever. thought about saying like, Hey, remember me You over it? I'm pretty sure you do. Right. Yeah. But of course I didn't, right? Because I'm kind of non-confrontational. So, um, you know, that was, I guess, so what happened? Climatic. So nothing. So that was that was it. She didn't say anything to me. I didn't say anything to her. So was then she this working store. There? No. Oh, she was no. just there buying. She was just shopping. Like you. Okay. Yeah. So this story got me thinking about that guy, and so I cyber stalked him. Yes, you did. I did. <laughs> I did because he was on my mind. And, um, it turns out he lives, I was like, tab, have you ever heard of this town? And it turns out he lives very close to tab. And I found out he works at a hardware store. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That I happened upon. That's tab. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, not sweet. Maybe we're the nutty girls. I was like, I found the store. And I am so going in, by the way, I'm going to go in and I'm going to take a picture with him. And I'm just going to say big mistake. Wops up. Big. No. <laughs> I um, actually told Gretchen that I'm a little sad that she didn't marry him because that would mean that we would live in the same time. I, that's true. That's um, true. We would have spent all these years apart though, because. I know. Isn't that just You so just random? got there. It's yeah. so random that he. Oh that my God. I can't even this, believe it. You were doing this story. You thought about him. You looked it up and then I just, and then I discovered it. Today. Okay. So the moral of my story is I am glad I moved away from the area I grew up in and have, sorry, Tab, not been persuaded to move to Texas because I never worry about taking trips down unpleasant memory lane when I'm at the <laughs> hardware store in the OC. You never know, dude. Maybe you'll run into that other one. Actually, no, you won't. He doesn't leave. He doesn't leave the house. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. That was the problem then. And Mm -hmm. we all saw it. Gretchen didn't. She was like, you know, those love goggles, they are real. Oh, yeah. Which obviously they're real because Rachel and Sarah had those love goggles on. Clearly. Unfortunately. By the way, I went to the DMV today and got myself a Texas driver's license and oh. they made it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. It took me only six months, but I'll tell you, I made the appointment six months ago. That's how long it takes to get an appointment oh, at damn. the Texas DMV, which they don't call the DMV. They call it the Department of Public Safety. So don't Google DMV. Oh, okay. DPS? DPS. That's what's that called. sounds yes. like dipshit. <laughs> yeah. Well, the people in there were pretty much that. Um, anyhow, I had to do a vision test. Have you done that yet at the DMV? Oh my God. Thank God. No, I cannot see. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, you know, they have you close one eye and then the other eye and one eye is much stronger than the other eye. Oh, shit. And, and <laughs> You're old. He said, like, read with one eye, read left to right. And then the other way, read right to left. Right. Yeah. But I just memorized the five letters that you have to read. So I'm like, I'm reading the same line, same letters, just right to left, left to right. Um, But I did on my right eye. I was like, dude, it's a little blurry. Um, 
And my eye doctor did tell me that everybody needs glasses by 50. I think he might be right. Oh, damn it. I know. He said, just because your eyes are real good right now does not mean they're going to be real good in 10 years. So I don't like hearing that. But I did pass. And I do have my temporary Texas driver's license now. So, oh, and I had to... I had to surrender my right California here. one. Oh, you're so cute with glasses. Am I a hot nerd? I, yeah, I like mm-hmm. that, actually. I like the look. I had to surrender my California driver's license. Oh. Yeah, it's really sad. And he's like, do you want to take a picture of it before you give it to me? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I do. <gasps> he's like, that's the best I can do for you. I was like, can I just keep it? And we say I lost it. It's usually, I mean, I've lost so many, but no, no, no can do barbecue. Oh my God. So do you have Texas plates and a Texas driver's license? Well, I have temporary Texas plates right now because I got the new car and I have a temporary paper driver's license also. So I'm very temporary at the moment. Yeah. Uh, And my picture was awful and I made him retake it and the second time was the same exact oh my god you are the only person that can get away with asking them to like retake your picture oh my gosh I'm always like uh can you show me that my driver's license picture is so fucking awful mine is not good I have a double chin in it it's like I'm like like, I'm like what the hell is this so yeah I mean it's so bad I don't think anybody's as good. I, well, my California one was good, but I also had them retake it. I can't. I didn't know you even. That was an option. If, I don't think it. You really can just tell ate. them and retake it, I mean, and they listen to you. You could say if you're persuasive, like me. Yes, I'm sure more people than just me do it. Oh my god! Yeah, not you, Gretchy. You're so. Um, you're a rule follower. No, I can't talk about it, but I'm doing something less than honest tomorrow. And my husband <laughs> knows that he cannot trust me to do it. So he's coming with me and doing all the talking. Good. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's a wop. It's not like a big deal or anything, but it's no, just, yeah, you know, no, it's yeah, fine. No, it's just you're fine. not, you're not, she gets like all paranoid if she like goes in the like line at the grocery store where it's like 10 items and she has 11. Oh, yeah, I won't, no, I won't fucking do that. I count my shit. Oh my God. Like seriously. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So let me give a couple shout outs. You guys, I have had such a week. I'm telling you. Okay. So I want to give a shout out to Sophie Little. She wrote us. She's on, she goes on Spotify, so she can't give us any um, love on Apple. But she, thanks for listening, Sophie. And she listens from Wales across the pond, all the way across the pond. So thank you. Clink, clink. So nice. I love when people from, other areas besides you know ventura california (laughs) listen to us i always feel like anybody my mom tells you know like Uh, oh yeah but i also feel like we're busted oh when our parents friends listen or when what oh well i have been busted by them but i feel like we're busted with anyone from ventura listens oh yeah whatever feel free to go tell and marty i'm talking about them (laughs) Is her name really Marty? Yeah, it is. Oh, <laughs> I thought you made that up. <laughs> That's not, uh, it's not like Jessica. Where like I mean, it's the, it's the truth. <laughs> oh my God. You're so funny. Okay. Paige, Mary Allen. Thank you so much. She found us a couple weeks ago and she posted about us. You guys, you can find us on Housewives of True Crime group. That's where we do a lot of uh, chatting. Also, we have a keto group or whatever you do for exercise and health where we give you recipes and people, I don't know, it's just kind of like a support group. If you guys want to find us there, it's like housewives of true crime 
on crack. I mean, keto or whatever works for you. Patreon this week, I thought was real good. Or last week, Gretchen did a bonus crime. We talked about Harry and Megan, which really was a, a hot topic, obviously, in our group. Live Life Uncorked. Uh, she has always been such a supporter. And um, I think that I really appreciate you. So thank you so much. Christina Kelder, thank you. She says that um, she's a Chrissy, but not a Chrissy. You know, she's a good Chrissy, which we get it. We totally do. Oh gosh, you guys, somebody else. I'm so sorry. I took a screenshot, but somehow it didn't get your name. So I am real sorry about that. Loser. I, I am such a loser. You guys, I do this like on the fly. We got very good reviews on Apple this week, and I appreciate that. So if you guys haven't rated and reviewed us, we would love it. And I think that's it. I wanted to, I thought it would be fun since I talked about the uh, drinking the Snoop wine. Everybody's drinking it right now. So I was going to give them a little clink clink real quick. What do you mean okay. right now? Well, because they posted about oh, it and then oh, I responded and then, oh, yeah, know, whatever. And then okay, it. so. So clink, clink for everybody paying attention to me drinking the Snoop wine. I know that's really And nice. posting it. They're probably, they must be in Patreon, right? Is that where I talked about it? Okay. So Lindsay Williams. Clink, Thanks, clink. Lindsay. Clink, clink. She, clink. She's great. Yeah. And you know what? It's not, it's not affecting her the same way it's affecting you. So. It's not. I thought it was delicious. I know you did. You drank almost a bottle. I just. She just oh can't gosh. handle like. But. It just did me, it just did me wrong the next day. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. 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 Corinda Venata. Venata. Clink, clink. Clink, clink. She, she just bought a bottle. Erin Hopgood. We wow. love her. Oh, yeah, we so do. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carrie Kuntz. I'm not going to call you a cunt. I made that mistake once, even though it felt <laughs> like that. But it's Kuntzy. But. Kuntz? But um, our other friend is, I thought our Alana. other friend is Kunsi, Alana Kunsi. I will never mispronounce that name. Yeah. <laughs> I love the name Alana also. But who did you okay. just say? Sorry, I missed that one. Last okay. one. Okay. Uh, Carrie Kuntz. Okay. And Lynette and Nerbiz. Okay. Casey Gomez. Kimberly uh -huh. Dawn Smith. Heather Parrott. Kitty Lotz Simonson, mm -hmm. Morgan Nelson, Lisa Jordan, Liz Johnson, and Liz Roman. Liz Roman. Clink, clink. Clink, clink. That's awesome. Clink, clink. Okay. Clink, clink. 